On this show, Tuesdays are super special because every Tuesday we play our Treasure Hunt Tuesday game. All right, so it's real simple. We're going to meet a guest who's brought with them an item that they hope is going to turn out to be worth lots and lots of money. We all want that, right? Well, Kimberly and I will ask questions about the item, and then we're going to guess how much we think the item is worth. Then Dr. Lori is going to tell us about the item and reveal its true value. I want y'all to welcome now the woman who's going to lead us through today's trove of treasures, PhD antiques appraiser, Dr. Lori. Dr. Lori, great to see you guys. Good to be with you. Good all to right. be with you. First up, you're all going to go ape over mm. this. First item. Come on out here, Anthony. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? Will you put that up there for me? Thanks for bringing it, Anthony. Mm -hmm. So, tell me a little bit about it. Uh, actually, um, we got it from an, um, an estate sale upstate in New York. Okay. Me and my brother go to estate sales, and um, this particular um, poster was at a gentleman's house that collects um, movie posters and mm -hmm. movie paintings. You got any questions for Anthony about his poster? Um, what year is this? Came out 1976. Okay. Mm -hmm. when, when you got it, did you happen to notice those numbers on the bottom right that says 76 slash 212? Oh, uh, no, I did not. Mm. Mm, no. Does that mean anything? Doesn't, all right. Okay. Well, gets oh, and look, yeah. um, there's a signature down to, do you know who that yeah, is? Yeah, John what? Agar. He was actually one of them, the actors in the movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Good eyes on her. How are we, how we doing, Dr. Lori? Good eyes. I'm really impressed. <laughs> Did you see this? Did you see this? They are looking. You are right. getting educated in our eyeballs. We really are. Now, was it framed when you got it, or you framed no, it? No, actually, um, uh, unfortunately, it was, uh, it was folded up. Right. And, okay, um, so you framed so, it. So, I, yeah, I saved it, but one of the reasons, because I'm relatively from New York, so i seen the Twin Towers, so I actually wanted it even more. Oh, right. And plus, I like the sci-fi movie, so it was that's one of the reasons why we, okay. we purchased it. Okay. All right, okay. all right. All right. Okay, audience, you know what you have to do. Help out our host. Mm -hmm. What do you think? This is the part that makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Steve, all right. All right. what did you so, guess? So first, I thought it wasn't too big a deal. I only said 20 bucks, but then when I saw that signature on there. Signature. I thought, Autograph. Uh, yeah. I thought, well, maybe it's a little more, but I don't think it's worth more than 60 bucks. Well, okay. okay, 60 bucks. All right, so because of the condition and it was folded, That's right. you know, I, but it does have a couple of signatures on it that I don't know about, so I said 80 bucks. Okay. I said 80. Okay, mm. so here's what you've got. Um, Anthony, this particular piece is in what we would consider fair condition. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's been creased, because you have some of the print that has now been lost because of the creasing. But this is the 1976 remake of the 1933 classic King Kong, and this is called a teaser poster. A teaser poster, in fact, is where we tease it for a particular time of the year. And Jessica Lange was in this particular movie, Jeff Bridges, and this gentleman named John Agar. And we have an autograph, not a signature. An autograph is someone who signed the piece, but not someone who made the piece. That's mm -hmm. signature versus autograph. And of course, this is Dino De Laurentiis. So this is important because of the director. It's important because of the actors. Mm -hmm. uh, John Agar, who you may not know, was married to Shirley Temple. Oh. And he oh. was very big in the 1950s and 60s. Value on the piece is about $500 in this condition. Oh, wow. Wow. I won. Girl, I should have stuck with my first answer, although I was still low. Yeah. I was 125. Good yeah. job. All right. Yeah. Good job. Okay, we're going to go from silver screen to silver tray. Please welcome Elise. Hi, Elise. Hi, how are, how you? are you? So, tell us about your tray. Oh, this is a tray that's been in my family's home for 30, 40 years, and um, was helping to organize my mom and dad's stuff. And I figured there's probably some value here, so. What do you think? Have you cleaned it or polished it since you've had it? Not at all. You, you always have touched it. Well, I know, but yeah. I just want to know if she's done it here, because I'm noticing that it looks a little tarnished, which makes me think maybe it's more valuable. Oh, I shouldn't help Kim out, should I? Mm -hmm. Keep talking. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Did your mom know what year she got this? Uh, I don't think she'd recall that, no. I love the tray and I love the design on the edge, so I like it. Audience, you're going to help them out? How much do you think it's worth? 300. 300. 300. 1,000. Really? 1,000. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, put another zero on that, Kim. Oh, nice. I'm okay. joking. All right, I'm all right, joking. I'm ready. I'm so, like, going $307. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm so specific. That's a little unusual. <laughs> you think? Okay. Dr. Steve, what do you think? I went with 300 straight. See, oh. that's why I did 307, because I'm higher than him. Both I know it's going to be a little three, bit higher. 300 Since you looked at my number. Ooh. I did not look. I did not wow. Cheat. First of all, what you have is you have, in fact, a George Jensen tray. Now, a couple things about trays that a lot of people don't know. Everyone thinks a tea set comes with a matching tray. 99% of the time, the tray does not match the set. Oh. Trays are usually for other things, okay? Now, this scroll work pattern is very, very popular. Now, for those of you who don't know who George Jensen is, he's a very well-known Danish um, designer, very popular in the 1950s. Could your mom have gotten this in the 1950s? Awesome. That's the style that you're seeing coming right out into post-war America. This piece is made in Copenhagen, and it is sterling silver. This piece has a value of $3,000. Oh, man. So you should have put another zero. <laughs> should have listened to her. <laughs> Wow, I'm working with you, Kimberlake. Wow. <laughs> Elise, how are you I feeling? Think I won this <laughs> wow. one because I went 307. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> For seven bucks, you're right. Look, I still beat you. <laughs> That seven dollars wow. really helped you out. Wow. That seven dollars. Listen, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, take yeah, a yeah. win. A well, win is a win. Something. It's beautiful. Remember, every wow. time that you actually um, polish silver, you abrade or scratch off one level of the silver. Mm. So don't be overzealous polishing. All of you are going to be happy because you're saying, "My mother-in-law wants me to polish the silver." You mm. don't have to polish the silver over and over and over again. Mm. Wow. Thank you so much, Elise. Right. Wow. <laughs> well, we still got one more item to appraise after the break, and you know what? Now forget the teas. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's a box. A box. It's a box. How expensive Just a box? Can a box be? But it's what's in the box that really mm -hmm. counts. Stay tuned and find out what's in the box when we come back. All right. <laughs> Next, you'll find out what's inside the box, and we'll all be surprised by what it's worth. Wow. Yeah. There you go. And then. Right? I don't like the way you're looking at me. <laughs> you won't believe what Kimberly is doing inside this box. Welcome back to our Treasure Hunt Tuesday game. Kimberly, what's the score? Go ahead. I'm winning. <laughs> she, is, she is winning but this round. But we're way off today, by we the are. way. We are. We're both, like, way off. All right, Dr. But Lori. she's winning, Steve. Yeah, Give it she to is. her. She's winning. I'm giving it to her. That's all right. What do we got? What's next our door? final Treasure Hunter wants me to appraise a box. Mm. And she swears it's not empty. Let's mm. welcome Karen. All right. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Hello. Oh, how are you, darling? Oh, hugger. Oh, hugger. oh, I'm happy to Hello. know you. Hi. Hi. If you put that right there, oh, very carefully. It's very fragile. Very fragile. Yes, there it is. Okay, tell Ooh. everybody how you got this well, iPhone. In 2007, I got a new job, and my friends bought me the latest, newest, first generation Because it's iPhone. a new job and you're all excited and you've got to do this, you know. It's got all these you know? neat things on there wow. to do a new job, like a right. calendar and, and all this stuff. And you didn't open it. And I, <laughs> so you, how well did you do with that job? I did good, but oh, I didn't okay. open the box. <laughs> um, do your the friends know that you they got you a gift and you didn't open it? They well, did I know. hope they're watching <laughs> they, this they show right now. <laughs> but you know why? I had just gotten a brand new phone. And then a couple years went by, and somebody was like, hey, an Apple collector might want that. It's the original iPhone, and it never broke the seal. And I'm like... Okay, so this is the original. This is the first generation iPhone ever came According out. According to Karen's friend. Does this one have the camera or no? Because remember, when the iPhone first came out, one of them did not have a camera on it. Oh. So, like, literally, they dropped the one with the camera, like, six months later. I think that was, like, a two gigabyte. This is the eight gigabyte, so this one has the camera. Okay. But Why would you get a gift like this and not open it? I didn't want to get I didn't want to get rid of my new phone, and yeah. I figured it's an iPhone, so it'll never go out of date. <laughs> <laughs> Little except, did you know. Oops, except right? they've updated it. Yeah. Wouldn't that be hard for you <laughs> and I? You right. get a gift, you want to open it right there? I would open yeah. it right yeah. now. And I yeah. didn't think the cellophane would what last. What kind of woman are you, Karen? Oh. <laughs> Look, your friends are watching this right now, well, you've got 20 missed calls on that phone. Yeah. <laughs> they are not happy with so, you. I know. Okay, that's all the time we have for questions. Okay. 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 okay, so based on their questions and of course what Karen has told you, audience, help them out. 3,000. 3,000. They're saying 3,000. I heard 1,500. I got 2,000 up at the top. What is that? 1,000. 2,000. Do you guys think that this phone, because it's in a package, unwrapped, yeah, is it's really? Okay, it's time for the big reveal. Miss Kimberly? Go ahead. <gasps> I said $503. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. 
I thought that since there's a lot of crazy collectors and yeah. people are you know hung up on nostalgia, I went a little higher. I went to fifteen hundred. Yeah. Okay, oh. okay. Oh. Right. Yeah. I think that's what it's going to be. Technology things. What do you think? I mean, not sure. <sighs> I mean, I'm hoping. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Well, I got you, girl. Don't worry. Okay. Right. Let's talk I'm about Dr. Steve's it. It's the eight gigabyte, not the four gigabyte, so that's okay. going to increase value. Packaging is very important, so remember about packaging. It can increase value between 10 and 25 percent, and that's for toys, uh, trains, uh, iPhone boxes, whatever it might be. It hasn't been touched. It's in its original packaging, and it is the higher end of them. What's interesting about it is when it was first given to you. It cost about $599 in 2007, mm -hmm. right? Oh, right? Today, this particular iPhone is worth $5,000. Wow. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Are you wow. serious? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be worth in front of us. Right. Oh. What's it going to be worth in 25 years? That's, and that's right. very important. You think about retirement? keeping it. Think <laughs> about keeping it in this kind of condition. Well, look what you did with only just from 2007. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, I'm feeling like overwhelmed. That's amazing. Karen, your friends called. They want their phone back. Yeah. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. All right. Thanks, Dr. Lord. Sure. This is so pleasure. much fun. We're going to go treasure hunting again next Tuesday as well. But for now, there's more of the Doctor and the Diva coming up next. Yay. 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 Yay.